Good morning, it is about 8 a.m. I've been out since about 7.40, having a walk around, getting some fresh air, enjoying this beautiful city. And behind me, you can probably hear them, are the local buses. <laughs> Today, I'm just going to share what a typical day is like as a remote worker. Variety is the spice of life. And for me, every day is different. Today is more of a coffee shop exploring day, heading to a mall a little bit later, check out some of the coffee shops there, go for something to eat, have a leisurely day, not necessarily running around exploring. I think the plan of action for now is to go and find somewhere for breakfast. It's just gone 10 a.m. and my stomach is grumbling a little bit. So yes, go and get a drink, maybe a fruit drink and some breakfast. Then we're gonna head over to the mall, which I've not been to before. Uh, I need to go to an ATM there and find some more places to do some work on my business. Just lots of planning work at the moment. Sometimes crossing the road can be a little bit dangerous here. If it's got traffic lights like this, you're fine. But if it hasn't, then you've just got to be brave and cross the road. Just keep oh, a look out for the crossings, the colourful crossings. So where we're going next is just up here. And I was reading the reviews, and the reviewer said, it's not Starbucks, but it's not bad. Whoever said that, though, has got a bad taste in coffee. So, yes, this is where we're going, just over the road here. Not sure if you can see with the light, but I've got an iced tea. Uh, peach and apricot just because I'm fed up of drinking coffee <laughs> and then I got a toasty sandwich with salami and cheese in it to try and get a bit closer it's delicious I do feel very privileged to be able to live this lifestyle of working remotely and traveling but it's not something that's just happened overnight it took me two years to get to the situation where I could quit my job to work remotely and travel. And what I do to be able to afford this standard of living is spend six months of the year in Southeast Asia and Eastern and Central Europe where the cost of living is cheaper. And then for four months, I live in South Korea or Japan or wherever where the cost of living is more expensive. And then two months of the year, I go back to the UK to see family and friends, get medical checkups, that kind of thing. So the work that I do during the day in the coffee shops is either a mix of editing my YouTube videos or photos and also just planning for business ideas that I've got so that's what I spend a lot of time on but yeah I enjoy doing that I enjoy doing the YouTube videos and editing them and the creative process behind it so right now we're going to go on a walk I think it's about 2k I'm gonna walk to another mall that I've not been to so the area that we're in today is called the ring center we're gonna be going to a shopping mall uh, there's an ATM that I need to use there, I need to get some money out. So a lot of people say to me, I hope you are having a good holiday. And I don't think they realise that, yes, I'm travelling, it might appear that I'm on a holiday, I'm doing lots of exploring, I'm visiting new places. But there's also an element of work and normal life as well. I have to, you know, work to be able to live this lifestyle. So it's not one big holiday. You do have to have days like today where there's an element of working. I have a routine where I work from about 3 p.m. until 7, 8 p.m. And the rest of the day, I'm also working on my business, which I'm trying to get off the ground and, and making money. So yes, it's not one big holiday. It's an amazing lifestyle, but just bear that in mind if you're thinking about becoming a digital nomad. So this is a busy roundabout, as you can see. Let's hope I don't get towed off for filming. 
anyway, I'm inside the mall. The reason why I'm here really is to use an ATM. It's only certain banks where you're not charged using a foreign bank card. But I've just seen a really nice coffee place just down here. So this is where I've been working for the last hour or so. It's a nice little spot inside the mall. Another little bar here called the Tree Bar. Seems to be one of these on each floor. I've just been to the food hall though and it's, yeah, there's not much there. It was an okay mall. Had some nice places to work from. A few little bars, coffee bars, some more interesting street art. I think this is David Bowie. And as I mentioned in my last video, lots of fruit and veg places all over the city. Just down here, local buses coming by. We'll get you one of them probably tomorrow. So I think just up here is an Albanian restaurant that I wanted to check out. So let me explain what just happened. Absolutely lovely, lovely lady. Quite rightly, she couldn't speak a word of English. I'm in Albania, I don't expect people to speak English. And the menu was in Albanian, and it was a struggle to decide what to order. So I tried to use Google Translate. That didn't really work out that well. <laughs> and I put in chicken, rice, and vegetables. I thought, you know, that should be quite easy to order and they must have a dish like that and I, I she was saying polo or something like that which I, I kind of thought was maybe chicken uh, <laughs> no idea anyway I got my first dish which was the vegetarian and I thought well I've obviously ordered a vegetarian dish no problem I love vegetarian food and then the second plate came out with a chicken and the rice and then I realized what I'd done I'd ordered a separate dish of vegetables with the chicken and the rice and all of it combined was delicious it cost about five british pounds which was i think about 800 albanian lev is it lev i think it is lev yeah <laughs> still learning all of this we love in the happy culture here loving it i am sat under a tree and I've just been really surprised. I've been able to get free Wi-Fi by the council here in Tirana. Tirana. So yeah, free Wi-Fi in a park. Perfect. So this is my view right now. Just cooling off after that long walk. So the contracting work that I do, I do that in my apartment because there's no distractions, it's quiet. I've also got normally each day one video call and normally for 15 to 30 minutes but it's good to have a quiet place to be able to talk and listen and focus on your work so yeah working my apartment for the quality assurance work but when I'm working on my YouTube or my business then I do that in a coffee shop and it's just absolutely stunning weather really loving this city at the perfect place to work remotely beautiful so earlier today i got this which is a vodafone sim card the lady in the shop was incredibly helpful and also helped me download the app onto my phone so that I could get an extra 10 gigabytes of data. And the reason why I got this is because of this. It's a MiFi. And I use this for backup if I'm in my apartment and the internet goes down, or if I'm in a coffee shop and the internet's not very good, then obviously I have this as backup. So I got a SIM card for that. This is unlocked, so I can use any SIM card that I want. So always a good 
thing to have is a backup. Obviously I can also tether on my mobile phone, but I don't want to be using all of my phone data. So this is a good replacement. Right, we have about an hour to kill until I go back to my apartment and chill for work before work. I am so chilled, I could do with a siesta right now. Just looking at this Batman box. Street light. A rather interesting sculpture. Absolutely stunning church here. Look at the size of it, it's huge. Let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do a street life video. So I'm back on the main square and I'm exhausted. So I think I'm actually going to go back to my apartment. Just wanted to show you this. So I'm back in my apartment and for the next three to four hours I'm going to be doing my quality assurance work. And then I've got the evening, once that's out of the way, to do whatever I want. To be completely honest, I normally just relax, watch Netflix, watch YouTube videos. But tonight I will be editing this video that you are watching right now. Before I start my work though, I need to put my clothes in the washing machine. Give them a good old wash with this Dolmol Colour Wash Metal. And by the way, if you would like a tour of my apartment and also the local area let me know down in the comments and also give the video a like and subscribe and i shall be back with a new video very soon we're going into the mountains we're going to be going to the coast looking forward to more exploring take care